Hey Rob, Eric, everybody else. Um, I just want to do a quick video of the new shipment I just got <clears throat> with an awesome product in it. This is, I wanted to show you guys how big this is. This is actually the wings for the Forge World Chaos Hell Talon. Here's the bag of other bits. So we've got you know, wing bits, cockpit, shield, windshield for the cockpit. Those there are the uh, engine tubing. Let's go right here. They're, uh, it's pretty cool. This is actually a recast. So for those of you who don't like recasts, you can go on ahead and stop watching the video now. <clears throat> for those of you who are interested, this is a recast from a company in China, of course, and they knocked it out of the park. Like this resin is is just like the resin I've gotten from Forge World, which for those of you who are still watching complaining, I actually have a ton of real Forge World models which I spent a lot of money on throughout the years who I feel <clears throat> don't have the value they don't hold the value and cost of what they what, what you're paying for them mind you they're still charging you the same price for those models that were done like in the 90s and 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 early 2000s and the molds are ridiculously bad but they're still charging you the same price so you know there's that and there's warpage here you can see on this one so i'll have to fix that but that's okay considering what this cost me this one's actually pretty good. Believe that, man. And then detail. Considering what these things cost, if I were to buy this from Forge World, and I know I've seen the actual Forge World model, I've held it in my hand at Games Day with more warpage than this, way more, and they were charging two, almost two hundred dollars for it. I was like, no, there's no fucking way I'm gonna pay that much money for some shit that I have to fix when I get home, before I can even put together. That's just ridiculous. Makes no sense. I'm not saying I won't buy from Forge World. I do, I have, and I still will when they put out a product that I really, really want. You know, there's some tanks out there that I'm probably gonna get from them, some figures, cause you know, they just, they're, they're just, they do a great job in designing these models. We wouldn't have this stuff if it wasn't for them. But some of this stuff, I can't see paying $200 for some shit that I have to really repair. I've actually bought Tyranid models from them at full cost that I've had to completely re repair with green stuff, wires, just to have the model stand up. And that to me was ridiculous. That's when I told myself, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So love it or hate it, whatever. My entire army doesn't consist of Chinese recasts. It actually consists more of actual GW and Forge World kits. But for some of these kits, I'm okay with the cost and the repair, the repairing of models like this for the cost of this type of model. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, <clears throat> my little rant on recasts and Forge World. I still love you, Forge World. I still love you, GW. But some of them prices, man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta figure that out. It's, it's just in this day and age, it doesn't make sense that we're charging that much for resin, for resin. Like there's other companies out there doing phenomenal models. For, for far less in resin I just it just it's mind-blowing but whatever to each their own you know like I said I still love them still love the design studios they're they're phenomenal artists are always I love art you know anybody who can be creative and design things like this that's just awesome to me Look at that detail crisp crisp detail on this recast I just, I'm sorry, man. It just blows my mind. I can't wait to get this thing built, paint it up for my death guard, and kick Rob's ass with it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.